Today's dental consulting works exclusively with offices using or upgrading to open dental software. We're experts at open dental, and this is our consulting niche. However, we are neither affiliated with nor do we receive any money from open dental or from any other vendor. While we do recommend some services or products, we do so only because we've seen them benefit our clients, not because they pay us. Today, we are going to discuss how the efficient handling of dental insurance can lead to significant improvements in your practice. Optimized insurance processing can lower accounts receivable, improve cash flow, and boost case acceptance. A positive billing experience helps retain current patients and encourages them to refer others. Conversely, a negative experience can create dissatisfied patients and possibly adverse social media posts. Confident insurance handling also reduces the need for pre-estimates and enables same-day dentistry, which patients love, and which can reduce overhead by 20 to 40% compared to scheduling treatments for another day. In this video, we'll guide you through organized, systematic, and efficient steps in open dental to gain control of insurance processing. Remember, every additional dollar collected goes directly to your bottom line. We'll be using several different modules in open dental. First, we'll use the chart module to enter accurate procedure codes and document why the procedures are necessary. Next, we'll move to the family module to enter insurance information. Then we'll proceed to the treatment plan module to organize the treatment and update fees. Finally, we'll use the manage module to send claims and receive payments. Note that we're not using the account module to receive payments. Accurate insurance processing begins in the chart module. This involves the back office team, including the doctor, who are responsible for entering the correct procedure codes and attaching documentation to explain why each procedure is necessary. The insurance narratives are drawn directly from these notes, so they shouldn't be improvised on the insurance form. For instance, when treatment planning a crown, document the reasons such as decay, a fractured cusp, undermined enamel, or insufficient remaining tooth structure for any other type of restoration. If the crown is a replacement, we need to document the age of the existing crown and why it requires replacement. For periodontal cases, use AAP staging and grading in addition to the pocket markings. Now, let's move to the family module. When entering a new insurance plan for a patient, always try to use the pick from list to avoid duplicating existing plans and to simplify benefit management. To manage duplicate plans, go to list, insurance plans, enter the group number, and search for duplicates. When combining plans, select the plan that has the most recent and complete benefits information. This is why date stamping updates in the plan notes is so important. It allows you to quickly identify which plan has the latest benefit details, ensuring you're using the most accurate information for patients. Let's briefly discuss the dental exchange integration with Open Dental. Dental exchange offers services that integrate seamlessly with Open Dental making it an ideal choice for handling electronic claims, eligibility, and benefits and insurance payments. By linking Open Dental to Dental Exchange, you gain access to real-time eligibility and benefit information. Using the Request button in the Edit Insurance screen, you can check a patient's eligibility and view their benefits in about 5 seconds. This works for 80 to 90% of patients in most practices. It helps ensure your claims are clean and free from preventable errors, such as incorrect birth dates or social security numbers, leading to faster claim payments. The dental exchange integration, available for around $26 per month, is a small investment for significant savings in time and hassle. Returning to the family module, let's enter the insurance plan details. Insurance benefits are essential to the process, but eligibility is even more crucial. Once eligibility is confirmed, Open Dental makes it easy to access benefits information. The Request button in the Edit Insurance screen links Open Dental directly with Dental Exchange, allowing you to check a patient's eligibility with their insurance carrier in real time, usually within about 5 seconds. You can also view their current benefits instantly. Keep in mind that benefit details from carriers often require careful review, as different carriers present information in varying formats and levels of detail. Pay attention to critical elements like replacement periods for prosthetics and any missing tooth clauses that might affect coverage. While it's tempting to automatically import these displayed benefits, we strongly advise manually entering the information instead. Direct imports often result in inaccurate insurance estimates in the treatment plan module, so it's worth taking the extra time to review and enter these benefits carefully. For an existing patient, once you've verified eligibility using the Request button and updated the benefits if necessary, you're ready to move on to the next step. 
For a new patient, however, you may not yet have an insurance group number. Dental Exchange can assist with this. By visiting the Dental Exchange website and entering just four basic pieces of information, details that the patient likely knows offhand, you can retrieve the group number, verify eligibility, and access the patient's benefits. This process happens in real time and directly from the insurance company. We recommend Dental Exchange as your first stop for obtaining benefits information for new patients. Still in the family module, let's talk about plan types and fee schedules. Open Dental has various insurance plan types. The two most common are PPO percentage and category percentage. PPO percentage posts the UCR fee in the patient's ledger with an automatic in-network discount. Category percentage posts the contracted fee without discounts. We typically recommend using category percentage for its clarity and ease of use. However, for patients with dual coverage, PPO percentage may be more beneficial. This is one of the few areas where we disagree with Open Dental's recommendations. Open Dental suggests PPO percentage as the default for most plans, but we've found that category percentage is more straightforward for both patients and staff. It also reduces staff errors in calculating the patient portion. Remember, always list the UCR fees on insurance claims regardless of plan type or contracted fee schedules. Ensure that your fee schedules are current and accurate. When requesting updates, ask carriers to provide them in CSV format for easy import into Open Dental. Avoid faxes for fee schedules. They're very challenging to import. For an out-of-network plan, set the fee schedule to none to activate the Blue Book feature, which provides a more accurate estimate for the patient when you're out of network with a carrier. Once the treatment plan is entered and documented in the chart module, and insurance information is correctly entered in the family module, move to the treatment plan module for final organization. If the appointment column is invisible in your treatment plan module, you can add it by going to Setup, Display Fields, and Selecting Treatment Plan. Use treatment procedure priorities to organize the plan effectively. Start by setting all procedures to Priority 5, allowing room to prioritize other procedures as needed. Scheduled procedures should be set to Priority 1 and move to the top. This approach is particularly helpful when a patient wants to start with only part of a plan, as it prevents insurance maximums from being incorrectly applied. Always update fees in the treatment plan module. Then, save the entire treatment plan. This provides a static record, unaffected by completed procedures, of what you presented to the patient. If the patient wishes to proceed with only a portion of the plan, highlight those procedures, save the partial plan, and have the patient sign it. This record can automatically be saved in Open Dental's Images module. The estimated patient portion from the treatment plan module can appear in the appointment book for scheduled procedures. If no prior payment arrangements have been made, this makes it easy for the staff to collect the estimated patient portion at checkout. Now, let's move to the manage module to send insurance claims and receive payments. Dental Exchange offers two-way real-time information exchange, allowing you to correct errors or add narratives as needed for a clean claim. Clean claims leave little room for denials and are processed faster. Dental Exchange performs additional error checking beyond Open Dental's capabilities. For instance, it verifies birth dates and identifies obsolete procedure codes, notifying you immediately of errors to correct before submission. Errors can be corrected on the fly directly in Dental Exchange. Attachments can be added in Open Dental or directly through Dental Exchange, making claims easier to manage. The final step is receiving payment from the insurance carrier in the Manage module, not in the Account module as you may have previously done. Payments may arrive as checks, electronic fund transfers, abbreviated as EFT, or credit card payments. We strongly suggest refusing credit card payments from insurance companies as they add charges for the office. Electronic fund transfers are generally the best option. In the past, the explanation of benefits was mailed and then payments were manually entered in the outstanding claim from the account module. Now, electronic remittance advice offers a better solution. Electronic remittance advice are electronic explanation of benefits that insurers provide. Open Dental and Dental Exchange electronic remittance advice integration enables automatic entry of payments into outstanding claims within Open Dental, saving time and reducing errors. This automation opens the appropriate claims, applies payments to each procedure, adds notes for each procedure, and indicates reasons for any disallowed or denied claims. Although setting up electronic remittance advice requires some coordination with insurance carriers, dental exchange, and open dental, it's well worth the effort. 
The insurance team now simply oversees the automated process. No more manually entering tiny numbers into small boxes. Every dental practice should be using integrated electronic remittance advice. Thank you for watching this video on streamlining insurance processing in Open Dental. From documenting procedures, verifying eligibility and benefits, submitting clean claims, and finally automatically receiving payments, these steps can greatly enhance your efficiency and collections. If you'd like more help leveraging Open Dental to make your practice easier to operate and more profitable, reach out to us at Today's Dental Consulting. We can provide expert guidance tailored to your needs and help you get the most benefit from Open Dental. Contact us today to learn how we can assist in optimizing your practice. You can self-schedule a complimentary consultation by visiting our website at todaysdentalconsulting.com and clicking the link at the top of the page. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you.